We are finding that uh, an increasing number of pupils are coming to us with sensory processing needs. They find processing data and information very difficult, makes them very stressed, very anxious. All our pupils here have what's called complex needs, which is they don't have one particular thing. So they have a, a main need, which may be Down syndrome or it may be ADHD. Uh, but on top of that, they have other complications and increasingly multiple needs on top of that. There are great uh, opportunities for the national curriculum. So, for example, some of those games on the interactive map could be counting games, or they could be let's look at one of the stories there and make up a storyboard about it and take it back into writing. So, the science out there, there's the stuff about the planet. So, there could be sensory stuff, but also, you know, learning around national curriculum as well. So multi purpose. Here we've got five rooms in one. You've got a sensory room, you've got a soft play room, a sensory integration room, a dark room, and an interactive floor system as well. Really key pieces of equipment like projectors, bubble tubes, fiber optics, infinity tunnel, vibration uh, cushions. And then next to that, we've created a, a false wall. And behind that is a wonderful uh, soft play area that can be used for letting off steam, it can be used for developing um, gross motor skills. Some special schools will work loosely with the national curriculum, but they use sensory rooms to actually create those life skills that people need to take forward. They come to the school often very shy. Um, they've been working in mainstream schools, often with one-to-one -one support, quite isolated. And they come into the school here and we see them fly and they blossom and they grow and they turn from tiny, scared, anxious, low achieving children into very, very proud um, young people who go off into the world and do some great things.